Oh dang, what? No, I gotta fix the audio. Alright, what's up YouTube? What we have here is a lawnmower that don't want to stay running. What might be going on here is the carburetor is breathing in too much air because I can prime the carburetor by putting gas in it myself and it'll start for a second but as soon as the gas run out it stops. I put fresh gas in it so that lets me know it's not sucking any gas and most of the time it's not sucking gas when it's on choke it's because our carburetor is sucking in too much air and not enough air pressure to suck in gas. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and use my jack stand to prop the llama up while I put some gas in it. Put just a little drip of gas in there. Remove the stand for you. And it's just going to start for a second, then cut right up. So as you can see, as it finished burning off that gas, it shuts off. So what we're going to need to do is go inside here, of course, take the housing for the filter off. Now a couple of tools you're going to need is some, some clamps. That's just, if, if you got some gas in your or you can take the hose off and let it drip into a, a glass bottle or a plastic bottle just don't drip it into like a styrofoam cup or something that gas will burn a hole in it you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and you're going to need some pliers to pull that hose off or if you got the strength in your hands to wiggle it off but i learned as in the past just let your tools do the work and you shouldn't have to work harder than the tool so all the tools make the job easy the right tools make the job easy so some clamps if you don't or something to plug the holes up <coughs> excuse me some pliers and a 10 millimeter socket and you know what I'm going to prop this line more up on some crates or something so I can get you closer I wish I had one of them line more lifts like some of these guys have but in just one moment okay what I've decided to do here is show you guys now you can put a lawnmower up on some crates if you don't have a lawnmower lift. That way you can work on your mowers just as easy without lifting them up or anything without no trouble. All you need is two crates and make sure you have a crate to sit on. So this is how you do it right here. You put a crate in the front there like I got here then have one sitting in the back. Push it down on this back wheels and push it forward. And lift up like that and kick the other crate up under there. And it's effortlessly. And you got your lawnmower lifted up in the air for you. Alright, like I told you, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to take the housing off here for that filter. And that's a little tight for my hands, like I said. The tool will do the job, so let me swipe it out for my socket wrench. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Let the tool do the work for you. Okay, folks, let me kind of show you how this goes, if you can see it real fast. I'm try to bring you up closer. If you look here, there's a little piston right in here. It pushes on this right here. It pushes on that there. That there is what turns that choke on that carburetor as the lawnmower heats up on this automatic choke. And as you can see, when it pushes on there, it opens that choke up. Now, the gasket is pretty good on the carburetor, so there's no need to change that we're going to keep that inside put it inside real fast 
and we might have to dig in deep here now to get in here is going to be that same size socket it's going to be that 10 millimeter it's going to be that same size socket and you see the gas just pouring out so it had gas sitting in there of course as you can see and let's see what we got inside of here and you see maybe a little debris sitting up in there but it's not too much not too much folks but what you want to make sure is clean is that little guy up in there I don't know if I can get you guys to see up in that little hole that good or not. There's a small little jet in there. You want to try to make sure that it's not clogged up with any kind of debris. Because with any tiny little debris from like old gas that's done broke apart or settled will clog that up. And you have to find some kind of real tiny wire or something. To get that unclogged and oh yeah by the way when you got your float out make sure this pin stays in this pin to slide out in that float will fall out and then i hope you'll find it when it fall out but there's another little lever a pin that this float is attached to you don't want to lose neither one of these right here so just be careful with that while you got this float flopping around and what happens is once it's enough gas in there It'll stop the gas from flowing in. When the gas drops, this pin and let's pushes that pin and let gas remove. And you see, it wasn't really letting no gas flow into the lawnmower, so something might be blocked, like that suction key up in there. It looked like it was getting air up in there, so that could be blocked and not letting fuel being sucked in. But we'll see here in a minute you got to get a small wire like something like a piece of an electric wire some copper from an electric wire hold on guys while i go grab something okay there it is you see that little hole that little hole inside of there is the hole you want to make sure it's not clogged up and those little slightest debris can clog that hole up now if you can folks I guess sometimes it's not always copper, but you know what I mean. You want to find some wire about this thin or about this gauge right here to put up in that little hole there. And you know what I'm saying? You can get to that wire it's with some wire strippers or something. Find you some wire. Strip the wire off. straighten your wire out there like this and we're going to unclog that jet now you want to open up your carburetor and make sure you can see your wire coming in and out of there you see the wire moving in so you see that little piece I shoved out of there? You may not see it, but I saw it on my fault. You can see it if you rewind the video. But you just move that back and forth in there in that jet. And that's going to get that nice and clean. <clears throat> All right, folks, we got it back together. I'm not going to worry about changing this air filter. It's still usable, so if it works, it's going to run still with this filter, so I'm not going to worry about changing that right now. My main thing is getting it to running. And um, let's see what we got here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take it down off my makeshift stand, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what we got, you know.
Let's see what we got. the owner if they want a new filter other than that i'm gonna give them back like it was but before i give it back to them you know i'm gonna have to clean it up first make it look spanking brand new anyway if you like this video hit that subscribe button thank you for watching if you got any comments you want to leave me you can leave it but other than that peace out mr hands from the head savage garage <laughs>